Hi, it's January 19, 2010, VLCD Day 52. Um, I'm up again today. I'm 289.8. Um, this is really bothering me because, you know, I had expected to be in the, two early, the lower 280s or the upper 270s by now, and I just can't seem to shake this. Um, it's becoming really discouraging, and I'm just wondering... Uh, when I say it's VLCD day 52, it really is day 52. It's actually been 62 days since I've started this. Um, but as you'll recall, I took that 10-day break where I went off the HCG. Now, I figured that would kind of refresh everything. Could I be coming immune to this for now? You know, that, that temporary resistance where you need to take, like, I don't know, six weeks off? Um, I'm wondering... Um, I'm, I'm coming to the uh, near the end of, of the batch here. I've got one more vial left. I still haven't ordered more. I need to order more, but I, I don't want to waste that last vial. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm probably going to share this uh, video out to some long timers, I guess you call them. Uh, and ask their opinion too. I mean, I'm doing sublingual, and I thought with sublingual it took a lot longer to become resistant. Now, I don't have tons of hunger, so I, I, I really don't know though. I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm not really, I'm not doing anything different than I did before the, uh, that Christmas break. But I'm just not losing. I'm just not losing, you know? I mean, you know, between yesterday and today, I, I, sh I should have lost one to two pounds. And instead, it's like I, I put on 1.2. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, this, this is, it's like pointless, you know. Um, I mean, I lost a few pounds the other day, but then, you know, now it's this. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just confused. I mean, if I need to take... P3 break for a few weeks. I mean, I don't want to do that. I'd love to keep losing. I really want to keep losing. Um, but it is only January. It's not like it's March and summer's right around the corner. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Um, so the jury's out there. Should I do... Should I just can P2 for now and go on P3 for, I don't know how many weeks it is, I think it's six weeks, I mean, that seems like a long time, that's a month and a half, I don't, I don't want to blow a month and a half if I don't have to, but, you know, you know I, I didn't walk yesterday like I said I should when I, I'm in some kind of a plateau, but I mean, this, I shouldn't have to do this every few days, I mean, I didn't do any exercise before the Christmas break, and I was just dropping you know, average of a pound a day, but, you know, mostly two pounds a day. I might give back a few on your odd, you know, cheat day or whatever, but, you know, all through Thanksgiving and everything, I, I lost, you know, I lost 35, 40 pounds. So, uh, and now it's like almost like nothing. It just, it, you know, I lose a few, I gain a few. It's like I just keep going back and forth between this, you know, without going down completely. So, if anybody has... Anybody's been doing this a while, um, you know, give me some uh, insight here. I'm, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is really pissing me off. Because um, who wants to be on a 500 calorie a day diet if they're not losing the weight? Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I pretty much stayed close to my LDW when I was in that 10 day break. The only time I gained, you know, significantly was when I guess the carbs got a little too high. Though I know if I do P3 again, I'm going to have to be careful of those pork ribs because those things, something about them torpedoed me. I don't know whether it was just I ate too many or it was that sauce with the tomato. I don't know what it was. The xylitol, I, I don't know. I tried to get that. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to blow it and gain too much weight. I, I'm confused. I'm confused. Um, I mean, I thought when you become resistant, it's it's a question of you know the hunger comes back and the stuff just doesn't work anymore in any way. But I you know I don't feel like I'm starving at all. But the weight's not coming off. 
so should I just stick through this, you know, stick with it? I know the Simeons mentioned uh, the stalls will eventually, you know, and I know they got Apple Days and stuff, but, you know, the, the Apple Days supposed to be mostly, uh, you know, um, psychological. You know, he even says that. And that even without the Apple Day, you should eventually continue the weight loss, no problem. It might take an extra day. Uh, I just don't see that happening here. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe tomorrow I'll be down three pounds. I don't know. Uh, I shouldn't have to take a walk, though. I mean, that's what's bothering me, too. It's not that, you know, I know the walking's good, and I recommend it to people to break a stall. Great, yeah, okay, it's worked for me a few times. But right now, something else seems to be going on here. But again, I don't have all this hunger, so I did get some hunger last night, though. I want to be totally honest here. The last two nights, it was, when it was very late, I did get hunger pains, real hunger pains. Um, I took care of them with water and maybe a you know, small piece of chocolate delight. Um, and, and the other weird thing is yesterday my, my keto sticks were showing color. Uh, middle of the road, you know, semi-dark. So what, what's going on here? Why, why did I gain 1.2 pounds even when the keto sticks were showing a darker color? But the dark color, you know, they weren't like super dark, but they were like middle of the road. They, they had some nice darkness to them to show fat burning. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, I'm going to share this video out to Delmem and Mama Clock, you know, people who have been on this a while. Anybody else who sees it, uh, uh, if they could give me some pointers here, because I feel like I'm stuck and I, I really want to get past this. But I, I don't want to waste my last vial if it's not going to take me anywhere, because I'm near the end of this, this, this vial. This is my fourth 5,000 IU vial that I'm, I'm, I'm almost finished with. I don't know how many doses I have left. It's not too many. Um, and and uh, I need to know what I should do. Should I go on P3 for... I don't want to... I don't want six weeks to pass me by with, like, almost no weight loss. But at the same time, if I'm not going to lose the weight anyway, what's, what's the point of being on a 500-calorie-a-day frustration diet? Which is what it'll become if I'm not losing the weight. You know, the thing that keeps you going on this is that you're losing the weight. You see progress. Um, and you can report to people, yeah, I'm losing weight, I'm losing weight. But once that weight loss stops at 500 calories, then it becomes a drag, even if you're not starving. Uh, that's the way I, I think about it. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, you know, anybody else go through this, uh, let me know. I mean, you all know how well I was losing weight. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, what? You know, what I do? What I do? Did I commit some sort of a sin? You know, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> you know that sort of thing. Uh, and, you know, I'm just joking with that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, I don't know. Let me know. Thanks, bye.